Hi and welcome internet. Today I'm going to show you few simple adjustments that you can use to make your image more cinematic. Of course, make sure you check out the description to for more information, of course, to follow me on Instagram and press subscription button. That's really important for me and I believe for you to know what I'm up to and get some nice free tutorials. So what I'm going to show you, this is the image we started with. It was just simple stock JPEG image that I got. And I ended up with this image with a little bit more cinematic look. It doesn't mean I'm showing you exactly the same outcome. I just want to give you the tips that allow you to get cinematic effect on your own, on your own image, no matter which kind of image it will be. So let's remove all of the layers we made here. And I'm going to start with a very simple adjustment, which I believe is very important for exactly for the cinematic effect. I'm going to desaturate this image a little bit. What I find the cinematic effect slightly, we need to decrease the color that is naturally placed on your image. But I'm not going to use saturation I'm actually going to use vibrance and let me explain why I'm actually using vibrance and not saturation in this case. So let's compare them. As you can see, when I decrease the vibrance, I do not fully decrease the orangey colors because the vibrance preserve these orangey colors, which are usually the skin tones and saturation, as you can see, it just decreased the saturation along whole image. So what I'm going to do, I'm not using saturation, I'm going to decrease the vibrance. So I'm decreasing mainly uh, the surroundings, but the model still holds the natural skin color that's here. Um, so let's call it the saturate. And you can keep blending mode normal or switch it to color. I don't think there will be big difference, but as you can see, the normal blending mode still affects the luminosity values, the color doesn't. So if you don't know what to do, it's always too good to change into color blending mode. So this is the first step. And the next step I would like to do, I would like to add some sort of warm filter. Maybe I don't really want to go with this color to be completely cold. So I'm going with solid color. Let's press OK. I'm going to name this color. And let's adjust some color here. So I will go with the orangey color, something like this. And let's see how it will match into our image. I'm going to decrease opacity down to 10%. And well, I think this could be something I'm happy about. We will see how it will work with the next adjustments. Now we decreased the contrast overall. Uh, which we will have to uh, bring back a little bit later on. The next step is color balance, my favorite tool for working with colors, for toning and everything like this. So let's name this tones. Also blending mode color. So shadows, I would add some of the blue color for the shadows, which sort of make it maybe a little reddish. Uh, I don't think we want the yellowish shadows, but basically you need to check what's more suitable for you. We could go even with magenta, as that. for this image it's not really suitable. We could go with some red, I don't think it's suitable. So also just a little bit of cyan. How we do with the highlights? I think for the highlights maybe just a little bit of the warm and cyan. Let's have a look. It's very soft effect, but I do like it. After this, finally, let's take care of the contrast. We could use levels for that. Um, so I'm gonna name this contrasts. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna drag the black slider till this level where the color start to make it a little darker. And also white slider to increase some of the, some of the highlights. Though I don't want to affect the colors this time, so I'm changing blending mode to luminosity. So now on the luminosity values will be affected. And this is the basic step over here. Let me use this as a group. So I select this all, I do a step back. I selected 
one layer, press shift, then the opposite layer on the other end, command or control G, and we have the group. So you have adjustment layer, adjustments over here. And at the end, very powerful step that I like to add, and it's of course camera raw for the, well, once we did the adjustment, look at this image, as you can see, it has totally different atmosphere. But I believe camera raw gives you a little bit more possibilities to work with lights, etc. So I'm going to create a stamp on the top. To create a stamp, you need to press Command or Control, other option, Shift and E, and then you will create a stamp. I'm going to call this just camera raw, camera raw. And remember, you want to work non-destructively, so we are creating smart objects. Convert this layer to smart objects, and thanks to this, the filter we apply in camera raw will be applied in non-destructive way, which means we can change it at any point. So I'm going to filter and camera raw filter. This image, to me, looks a little too bright. I'm going to decrease the lines because cinematic effect needs to be a little dramatic. Also, I'm going to increase the contrasts. I'm going to increase just a little bit of shadows and also I want this image to have the clarity. And the clarity gives you sort of um, the cinematic outlook as well. So I went quite far, but I think it works for it. I'm not going to convince you for temperature. You might check it if you want to change the temperature of your image. As you can see, whether you want it in warm tones or cold tones, I'm gonna keep this natural for this tutorial. And then let's go to some other adjustments, which will be split tuning and working with colors. We'll start working with hue, saturation, luminance values. And what we can do here, you can adjust the values of the hue at first. So for example, I'm looking at the skin color and I can decide whether I want the more red outcome or more orangey outcome. So I don't want yellowish skin tones, but more into this maybe red. So let's have a look. I also don't want that strong of a red. I don't want this for sure. So I'm finding the point where I'm happy with the skin tones I have. And I think that would be around this uh, point. Of course, you have possibility to manipulate with every single color that exists on your image, right? So there's not that many of the colors except the skin tones that I was pleased to work. Also, you can work with saturation. You can increase the saturation on the model if you think the skin tones supposed to be a little bit more saturated. There's not many of other colors I would work with. That's why I'm going to jump to split toning. And let's see how it's gonna work for us. I'm going to see how the warm tones will work for the highlights maybe. It's also increasing the skin tones a little, so I don't need maybe that much of the saturation here. And for shadows, I would go with some more blue color, which will be adjusted as complementary color. It will work together. Get a little bit red though. Let's have a look. But I think it does work. I don't want this to get that red. I would prefer more cyanic outcome. Something around that maybe. Let's have a look. Maybe a little bit more red on the model. I believe something around this and then we are about to finish. Of course you can work more with split toning if you will wish, if you wish your image to be colder for example, um, even till this level it's all allowed and it's absolutely up to you. I don't really like that drastic effect so I would possibly not go that far but well you all decide about your own thing. So just about this, I'm going to finish this image. Uh, you can add even more contrast. Remember, this all belongs to you. This is the steps that allow you um, to create simple cinematic effect, no matter on which image you are working with. 
So I'm going to turn off the adjustment layer now and we can see the image we started with before and the image we just finished. This is few steps, tips you can use to create your own cinematic images. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and check the check description and I'm gonna to, going to see you in the next Photoshop tutorial.